it's Donna and Kyla. And today we have another Stitch Fix box. I feel like we've been getting lots of Stitch Fix boxes lately. <laughs> Maybe too many, but I don't know if I've told you guys in a while, but I have an annual styling pass. So what happens is after you do it with so many boxes, they offer you an annual styling pass. It's $49 a year. However, if you have any credits from your friends signing up or things like that, you can use your credits towards that and then your styling uh, fees are free for the rest of the year. And then they also give you that back in credits so you don't lose the $49. So if they offer it to you, I definitely highly recommend it because you don't lose the money. It just goes towards something you buy in the box. So that way we can get these every two to three weeks, which is really cool, right? If you're new to our channel, thank you for joining us today. Hopefully you like what you see and welcome. Stitch Fix is an in-home styling service. They send you five items based on the survey that you complete online on what you like, what you don't like, what you're looking for. And then your stylist will see if you like them or not. You try them on in the comfort of your home and then you send back whatever you don't like and you buy what you do like. Um, now it's normally a $25 styling fee for your first box. However, I do have a link below in the description that gives you $25 off your first box. I'm sorry, it's a $20 styling fee. I'm all discombobulated tonight. It's a $20 styling fee, but my link gives you $25 off your first box, which covers the styling fee and $25 towards something in your box. What a mouthful, right? All right, maybe we should just jump in tonight. What do you think? Just kind of see what's in there. It's a very lightweight box. Enough. And it's moving all around, so there's not a lot in here. They've also been doing fixed previews, which is something new for them. They email you ahead of time, similar to Trunk Club is the only other program I know that does this. Um, and they show you what the stylist has selected for you, and then you decide what you want them to send you. And then if you don't have enough pieces, the stylist will add some extra pieces based on your notes that you leave them. So I do have an idea, but I don't remember because it was at least a week ago before I, when yeah, I did I that. Can open it you can. Um, so I kind of like that to a point. Now, prior to that, you can go in. Once they ship your box, you can go in and do a preview anyway. I have never done that until recently with this whole new preview fix thing. Um, but you can do that. You can pretend to check out and you can kind of see what they have. Okay, Kyla, you ready? Ooh, don't pink. One tiny burrito in here, Kyla. Teeny tiny burrito. Ooh. And actually, this is like hanging out here on the side. So they also have a shop now. So you can go in and select items if you just want to pick things out instead of doing the fixes. You can shop without the fix. So I do like that. So, so far I'm liking the colors. What do you think, Kyla? They also have your envelope in here that has the prepaid label. So you just ship everything Ooh, back. I see something. Yeah, it's tucked in there. This is our invoice, which we will get to at the end. It'll tell us what everything costs. And then the stylist also gives you a styling card to kind of give you ideas on how you can style it. And the stylist notes. So should we read the stylist note real quick? All right. Hey, Donna, I hope you're enjoying your summer so far. I'm excited to see that you found some keepers in your fix preview. I know you've requested a kimono a few times now, so I was excited to see the navy floral kimono by Emery Park. Do you guys have kimonos? Like, I have not been on that bandwagon. I had a friend the other day that had one on with a cute little pair of jean shorts, and I just thought it was adorable and like a white t-shirt. It was so simple, but the, the sheer kimono just spruced it right up. So I really have been wanting to try one. I just haven't found one that I like yet. Um, let me know if the kimono is what you had in mind. Since you'd like some tank tops for the beach, I've chosen some great options for you. I know you love details, so I made sure to include unique pieces with fun details on the back. I love that. You also requested a pair of light colored shorts, so I've selected a coral double button shorts by Market and Spruce for Mom, you to try on. Yeah. There's a question mark. Yes, there is. How do you like the style and fit of these shorts? I do like Market and Spruce pants, so I'm hoping maybe the shorts fit the same way. Let me know what you think, Donna, and what you like to see next time. Enjoy your new pieces, XO. Mackenzie. And there's men's boxes, there's kids' boxes, and there is good box. Yeah, thanks for remembering that. So yeah, if you're new to Stitch Tricks, they have all kinds of different fixes, don't they? And if you have kids, just buy them a kid fit. Yeah, kind of loves kid Stitch Tricks boxes. <laughs> Yeah, they're my like, favorite. If you get shoes, they're going to be beautiful. Oh, I'm sure. All right, so let's see here. We've got a green top here. I remember this one was in my Sticks Fix preview. It's such a mouthful. So it's really super soft. But what's neat is the back. So the back has like this webbing <laughs> detail here with those strings. So that's really cute. I like that. Let me hang on to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's the kimono that she was talking about. It's gonna be hard probably to hold it up to show you what it looks like, but let's see here. So Emery Park is who it's by, and it's a navy floral sheer top. So I think that is really cute. Hopefully it fits me right. Oh, uh, this one's interesting. 
So we've got like a massive floral shirt here. <laughs> it's like black and white. I think it's black, yeah. Black or really dark navy, possibly a dark navy. Um, really cute, a little bit kind of crazy loud. Um, but the back is really cute. I like that strappy detail. And this is, Just a little they busy. They don't have um, like shoes. No shoes in this one. All right, this was one of the keepers from my preview. I thought this was really cute. So it's a tank, but then it has a really cool like twisty pattern in the back right there to make it a racer top. So I thought that was really nice. All right, and then the last piece are the shorts that she was talking about. Hi, Market and Spruce, but I think we'll be really cute with that kimono as well. So maybe we'll pair that together. All right, so let's try everything on and then we'll get together at the end and look at the prices. So hang tight, guys. All right, so I couldn't resist. I had to put the kimono on first because I just couldn't wait. <laughs> so I went ahead and just put a white tank top underneath of it, like I was talking about. I just think the white makes the outside pop more. Um, but isn't it pretty? Like, it is so cute. I, I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? It also has like a split on the side, so I feel like it's a lot flowier, which is nice. It has a really nice long length in the back, so it's kind of like a little surprise in the back, I think. So. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this something I need my wardrobe? I wanna know in the comments. <laughs> All right, the shorts. So the shorts are very comfortable. I like them because they have pockets here. They also have some extra pockets here that are actually real, which is nice. Sometimes they're just decorative. Um, the only problem is they do gap a little bit in the back. I have that problem with a lot of pants. So for some reason for these, they are gapping on me. They do have nice pockets in the back side though. I like the length a lot. Just wish they fit a little bit better around the waist so when I'm sitting down, I don't have to worry about that gap in the back. But otherwise, I really like them. I like the color, I like that muted um, salmon color, which is really nice as well, peachy color. So I don't know, what do you guys think? All right, we've got some more tops, so hang tight. All right, so I went ahead and put on the green shirt, which I also think looks kind of cute with this color of shorts. Gosh, I wish these shorts fit better, but let's just talk about the top. So it's very plain in the front. It's very soft, very comfortable. I like how form-fitting it is as well on the side here. I think it gives me a little bit of a figure. Um, but what's special about it, of course, is the back. I really love that. I kind of think it's a surprise. You can wear your hair up as well and then kind of have that in the back. So I think that's kind of unique. I don't know, what do you guys think? All right, two more tops. All right, so the next top here, I kind of had a feeling it was gonna be too busy and I still kind of feel that way when I'm looking at it. It's just kind of crazy, <laughs> but it's just a floral design. It is more of a darker navy color, um, at least in my eyeballs it is. <laughs> so I still think it looks really great with these shorts, I don't know. But what's special is the back. So I really love like the extra lattice work going on here on the top and the cutouts. So I think that that is really cute. It's very comfortable, it fits very nicely. Just not sure if the design is too crazy. So that's why I wanted you guys to tell me in the comments if you think this is too crazy. All right, we got one more top, hang on. All right, so I really love the design on this tank top. It's really cool. It's almost like a tie-dye, stripey kind of thing going on. However, the fit doesn't work for me. I, if I went down a size, I think it would be too tight, but the armpits lately on the shirts I've been trying on are too low. Like, what is going on there? I don't even know what type of underclothes I would wear under this that you wouldn't see that, and I think the purpose of a tank top is to feel cool. I don't wanna to have to put a layer underneath of it. But let me show you the back, which is really cute. It's got this twisty design here in the back. But again, I just don't know what I would wear <laughs> underneath of it. And so it's just too loose going on up here at the top, but just perfect down here at the bottom. So unfortunately, just the fit doesn't work for my body. All right, let's take a moment and get together and take a look at the prices. Prices, prices, prices. It always boils down to those prices, right? Now, if I were to buy everything in the box, though, I did not tell you, you get 25% off. So, Mom, that's always a nice thing. I know, I did forget to tell them. I don't think I'm going to buy everything because of the fit of some of the items in the box, unfortunately. Um, but one let's go through each thing, item and we'll see how much everything one, costs. One thing didn't fit. Yeah, this one's a little bit too loose on me. I did keep it on. I like the pattern. Like, I wish the, I wish it fit better. So, we'll start with this one. This is the Market and Spruce Debra Twisted Racer Back Tank in navy. And this one's $30. That's like the cheapest thing I have found at Stitch Fix. <laughs> so, and of course, it doesn't fit me right. I don't know. Do you guys have any ideas? I mean, only if I were to wear a sweater, but that kind of negates the twist in the back. I mean, I could probably put like a weight tank top underneath if it may be. Okay, let's move on. All right, the shorts, which I felt like matched everything in the box. I don't know why. Um, but these are the Market and Spruce Camellia Cargo Double, this cut off, light pink shorts, 
$58. $58 I think is just a little too much uh, for a pair of shorts that I probably wouldn't wear every day because of the unique color. I don't know. You wanna hold on? All right. Let's see what this one is. This one's like what? that crazy florally top. But mom, it's so soft. It is soft, I know. Okay, this one is also marketed in spruce. This is the Gulia Cage Back Knit Top. That's a funny name, Gulia. In navy. This one's $34. That's a really great price for the tank as well. All right, the green one. This is the Roxanne Not Back Detailed Tank in dark green. And this one's $34. These prices are great this time. Amazing. Now let's see what the uh, kimono. The kimono. How much is the kimono? Emory Park Cali Open Front Woven in Navy, $34. Wow, so everything was in the 30s except for the shorts. That is really great. Thank you, Mackenzie, for keeping all the prices low. You know I love a budget fine. And do we keep the kimono? What do you guys think? When would I wear that? Isn't that pretty? In the morning? So in the morning. morning. Yeah. Yeah, you can like. Mmm, be fancy in the morning when I wake up. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay, so I would have bought everything in the box. Let's see how much everything costs. So everything in the box is $190, but the 25% off would take $47.50 off. So the total would be $142.50. Not so bad for all of those and all those versatile options. I don't know. I really would love to hear what you guys think on this box because I think we're going to have some mixed opinions. <laughs> so leave the comments below if you don't mind, if you have a second. All right, so we've got for you guys today. Always make sure you like the video, subscribe to the and channel. And press the bell and get the sound. That's right. Thank you, Kyla. All right, so next time, guys, happy styling. Bye. Bye.